quite gloomy now as we see the final race of the Epigas Oceania World Cup Grand Prix Series. The start boat in position. It's come down to the Kiwis against Kiwis with Howie Benz of the USA and Bob Halliday of Australia both having to drop out with mechanical problems, and that's a shame. But the man in the hot seat, Warwick Jones and King Rat, leading in the series as they race this final event, Latimer Lodge, Peter Knight Jr. in second place. And they're racing. Latimer Lodge in the center, King Rat next to him. They're the two showing out. GP2 from Selwyn Coca also racing in this last event. Latimer Lodge just in front from King Rat as they approach the first corner at the end of the back straight. together a great sound as they come into the front straight four laps to go now and it's Latimer Lodge Warwick Jones just outside him though in King Rat and on the inside Selwyn Coker in GP2 tremendous start to this race yeah that's as good as we've seen I think and they're all holding their line around that boy this looks fairly good there Warwick Jones and King Rat just in front on the inside GP2 in fact, uh, not much at all between Jones and Latimer Lodge. Warwick Jones on the outside, Latimer Lodge in the center, and on the inside, GP2 with Selwyn Coker. So the best race we've seen so far. King Rat just in front of Latimer Lodge at the end of the back straight. Selwyn Coker's uh, going to be in a position here that's hard. He's managed it all right. He's driving very well, Selwyn. This is a new, uh, new driver this year. These boys are conserving their motors, no doubt about it. Three laps to go, and it is Selwyn Coker just ahead. Well, not much at all between the front two. Latimer Lodge and GP2, and Warwick Jones and King Rat, the series leader now, on the outside. Selwyn's still up there with these boats, and that's surprising. It must be so difficult to see with that amount of water flying up, Peter. Yeah, it is. You've got to get a clear line there, and it's, uh, it's very hard if a boat goes a little bit off direction very hard to catch it. Warwick Jones has dropped back. Looks as if he may have a problem, but it's Selwyn Coker on the inside and GP2 and Latimer Lodge, PG Knight on the outside. They're the two leaders and indeed, well, Warwick Jones has stopped and that will mean that Latimer Lodge is back in front of the series in this final race. This is a surprise. That was not Warwick was going so well before and it's a shame to see it happen. He's put so much into the series. Peter Knight Jr. and Latimer Lodge with two laps to go. Just in front of Selwyn Coker and GP2. I can guarantee he'll be just looking at all those gauges now and hoping he can hold it out. He, he should really pull back. He doesn't need to be first in this race. Peter Knight Jr. and Latimer Lodge then has the series wrapped up if he can get to the finish. Remember that just before this race he had to change the motor. Selwyn Coker in front. He can't take the series. Too many points behind. PG is pulling up now. Latimer Lodge pulling up. Oh, well, this is a tragedy for PG Knight because Selwyn Coker there in front of GP2 might take this race, but it means that Warwick Jones and King Rat could well win the series. We'll have to add up all the points, but here's Selwyn Coker now and GP2. Didn't compete in race five of the series. Here he is back in race six after they repaired the engine and racing away. Well, the pressure was really on the other two, King Rat and Latimer Lodge, to take out the series overall, and they've both gone out with mechanical problems. Well, Selwyn Coker's gone across the line. We did see the red flag. But Selwyn Coker across the line in GP2 to end this last race of the World Cup Oceania Series. So Warwick Jones and King Rat, although he wasn't able to finish this last race, is the winner unofficially of the Oceania Series.